Good morning and uh, welcome to another Daily Devotions. Today is Saturday. Man, this time is just uh, flying right by. I can't believe that we're already at the end of two weeks of our Daily Devotions. Um, we got an awesome message that's going to be coming up for you this weekend. And um, But looking forward to seeing what God has for us in, in Proverbs chapter 4. So it's only taken us two days to get through Proverbs 4. It took a long time to get through 3, uh, but two days to get through Proverbs 4. So we're going to start in verse 20, and uh, let's see what it says. So it says, My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. Now, I just I just love that because it, it's when I read through this, it's sometimes I feel like Solomon is like trying to recapture his his son's attention. Like he's trying to be like, hey, 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 you. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. You know, he's like, focus here because I know kids obviously have a tendency to let their minds wander. You know, I can be having a conversation with one of you guys or one of my kids and all of a sudden it's like squirrel. And it's like wandering off and I'm still talking and it's just like, oh, what? And so sometimes it's like your parents, your teachers might be like, hello, hey, hey, let's get back focused. And I think that's kind of what he's doing here, you know, is that he's like, give attention to my words. You know, do not let them depart from your eyes. Like, keep focused on them. Look at what I'm telling you. I'm telling you this for a reason. You know, and I think that's that's huge because it's just, we're going to see, it's like this continued. It's like, pay attention. Look, here you go. Here's another good example. It's just like a good reminder for us to stay focused on what Solomon is saying. And so then picking it up in, in verse 24, he says, put away from you a deceitful mouth. Wow. I think that that's one of those things. It's like I stop and I'm just like, that's huge. You know, for some of you guys, if you don't know what deceitful means, it's like lying, cheating. You know, it's like not being honest. Put away from you a deceitful mouth. So let's not lie. And I think that's very easy for us to, to say but it's harder to do. Let's see who keeps reading on. So it says, keep evil talk from your lips. Let your eyes look straight ahead and your eyelids look right before you. Ponder the path of your feet and let all your ways be established. Do not turn to the right or the left. Remove your foot from evil. So he's really, it's like, okay, don't lie. Keep evil talk out of your lips. Like, don't be talking trash about people. It's like the going back to like what we were talking about is just like staying positive, you know, focusing on the good things. You know, I really think that it's important to that we're paying attention to what we're saying and what we're saying to other people. Are we telling little tiny itsy bitsy lies? Because even if it's a tiny, itsy, bitsy, teeny, leeny, lie, that's not a good thing. We always want to be honest, truthful, straightforward, and I think it's huge. And it says, and then don't, or keep evil talk away from your lips. And I think it's really easy to get into talking bad about someone else. We want to pile on like someone's like, oh, did you see what they were wearing? Oh, did you see what they, see what they said in class? Oh, ha, 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 ha. And we want to then pile on and make fun of. And, but that's evil talk. And Solomon is like, that's not wise. Don't do that. So don't lie. Don't talk trash. And then he's saying, let your eyes look straight ahead. Stay focused straight ahead. Keep looking right in front of you. Think carefully about the paths that your feet walk on. Always choose the right ways. Don't turn to the right or the left. Keep your feet from the path of evil. So he's kind of like saying like, you know what the path is. Walk with blinders on. You ever see like horses, you know, out on the roads, they have the blinders on so that they can't be distracted by people on the sides of them. That they stay focused on the path 
right ahead of them. And that's what Solomon wants for his son here. And that's what God wants for us. God wants us to stay on that godly path. He wants us to walk straight forward. We get in trouble when we start getting distracted on what's on the right and what's on the left. And we start moving from side to side. And we need to stay focused straight ahead. So let's not lie. Let's not talk trash. And let's stay focused on the path that God has for us. Sound good? All right, let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you. We thank you for today. We thank you for the ability to open your word every morning. And Lord, you just give us such simple wisdom that we can use thousands of years after the fact that it was written. And it's just amazing to see how it applies today. And so help us apply it today of being truthful, being honest, being kind, being loving, and staying focused on what path you have for us, Lord. And we love you so much in Jesus' name. And all of God's children said, amen. All right, check out this weekend's message. Uh, it's a good one. And uh, also, I'll see you guys on Monday for week three of our Proverbs. All right, have a good day.